Okay, in this video we're going to find the square root of 7,280. Now, today, this is a piece of cake. You just grab a calculator and you calculate the square root of 7,280. Uh, but we're not going to do this using today's technology. We're going to use this, we're going to do this using the technology of 1970. Okay, and in 1970 you simply did not have a handheld calculator you had to use logarithm tables. You could also use a device that we called a slide rule. But today what we're going to use, we're going to use logarithm tables uh, to do this. And uh, so I have two tables here. I have one table that is my table of logarithms. You can't really see that very well, but believe me, there's table of logarithms. And I have this other table that is the table of powers of 10, uh, which is also sometimes called a table of anti-logs or anti-logs. Um, Okay, so how to start? Okay, the square root of 7,280, first let's express this in scientific notation. This is going to be the square root of 7.28 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, third power. Okay? Now at this point I use my uh, table of logarithms, and so I say, okay, what's the log of 7? 28. And as it turns out, it is 0.86213. Okay? Just look up on your table of logs and you will find that that's the answer. Now, what does that mean? That means that 10 to the 0.86213 equals 7.28. So now I can rewrite this as the square root of 10 to the 0.86213 times 10 to the third. And what do you do when you have 10 to the 1 power times 10 to the other power? You add those exponents. So this is the square root of 10 to the 3.86213 power. All right. Uh, well, what does square root mean? It means... It means to the one-half power. Okay? And now that I have that to the one-half power, what am I going to do with these exponents? I multiply those exponents. So now I get 10 to the one point, let's see, what's half of that? Uh, 9,31065 power, I believe that's right. And uh, so there's my answer. 10 to the 1.931065 power. Unfortunately, uh, this isn't real helpful. Uh, I don't know what in the world that is. So now what I have to do is I have to transfer this back into standard notation. And the way we do that is with our other table, not the table of logarithms, but the table of powers of 10, or anti-logarithms. And so I say, okay, so this is, I'm going to split this up. This is 10 to the 0.93. It's approximately 10 to the point 0.931 times 10 to the 1, okay? I took the fractional portion of this and the integer portion of this. And uh, 10 to the point 0.931, I find out that that is uh, 8.531 times 10 to the 1. So there's my answer in scientific notation, and that is, of course, 85.31. Okay? If you grab a calculator and you take the square root of 7,280, what you're going to find is 85.32. That's a pretty good estimate, given that all we used were two sheets of paper rather than a handheld calculator.